Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exos Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to talk about FC Loom, her hero profile, her strengths and weaknesses, skills, playability, recommended Guardian Stones, synergy with other heroes, overall rating, and my final thoughts. Before that, if you want to see more Exos Heroes content, please hit the subscribe button down below. So here we are at the uh, Ulum's hero story. So Ulum hails from the nation Marinos Island. Her element is machine. Her position is defense and attack type is physical. And to note that uh, Ulum's sex is male. <laughs> anyway, she's also an ogre. So she's an ogre with her original form, but this is her FC, so she looks like a girl. So anyway, let's move on to Ulum's uh, stats. So as for her loom stats, she um, is pretty much a defender and her strengths are average, uh, no sorry, above average HP. She has high defense and she has high block. So as for her average stats, so she has average hit and uh, her weakness, she, is, she has low attack, low damage, low crit hit and low speed. So it's, it's, it's expected for, for a defender to usually go in the middle or to go in the last part in the sequence of battle. And um, it's also expected that she would be tanky enough. But based on my experience, she has she is one of the most tankiest um, uh, defenders out there, especially with Provoke. Um, she really, really works well with uh, protecting squishy units and she she heals pretty much herself as for ulum skills so there are a couple of changes to her uh, fate core uh, form so let's start first with her uh, regular passive which is block three so this is where she gets her provoke so ulum um, provokes the enemies once an ally's health drops to 30% or less. So also she gains mana if only health is at 20% or less when triggered. And she gains also mana if own health is at 70% or more when triggered. So for her two added passives for her FC. So we have at first is Bar Will. So triggers when 70% or more of own maximum health is taken at once so reduces all received damage including current damage by 50% for two turns so it increases all damage received after two turns by 30% for three turns the other one which gives her heal heal over time is survival instinct so if your health drops below 30% uh, she gets survival instinct recovering around 50% of her maximum health and this is for four turns so to sum it up Ulum's survivability increases once she is in her faith core form um, in her basic um, form she's a bit tanky but this gives her more survivability for her to absorb more damage if she provokes the enemy so let's proceed to her S2 so her S2 um, it's dimensional imprisonment, so deals 750 damage to one enemy. So destroys Guardian Stones. Three random stones if you are tranquil. And her S2 is more or less the same as her S1, but it's but it's a AoE. So deals 357% three, damage to all enemies. Again, it destroys Guardian Stones if you are tranquil. The I think um, Skills one and two for Ulum is is one of her strong suits and also her weakness because for her to to be to get the tranquil state she has to be paired with battery number one. So for for you to take advantage of her, you really have to pair her with battery. So and also if you don't use battery um pretty much her s1 and s2 are not that impressive because it's only damage that that she will be dealing she won't be breaking any garden stones so i'm kind of 
on the fence with uh, with with uh, with uh, Ulu because um, she she is she is really a good character, but it will really uh, be dependent on if you have battery or not. Anyway, guys, just a reminder: if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, check out the subscribe button down below and hit it so that you can get updates from me on a regular basis. So let's move on to your to her playability. So again, with her playability, um, I my only condition with her is that she has to be for her for you to really maximize Ulu. You really have to pair her with battery so again in terms of playability my assessment here is you have to bring her you have to bring battery with her so that you could take advantage of all that she brings to the game so again um, for her playability for PvP she is mainly used right now as um, as a good defender for tag for pvp tag um but more some teams actually still use her in the main pvp main pvp team um but anyway um in which case it depends on what units you have but she is usually used in the main pvp team for pvp pvp matchups and she is used uh really well in the tag pvp as for PvE, she is really, really good at the chapters. Based on my experience, I used her well in finishing off Chapter 11. So Chapter 11 will really make her shine because you need to break a lot of Garden Stones there. Also, um, she is very useful in your squadron battles if you have her you bring her and if you don't if your team composes mostly of Bathory and Rerash they really complement each other the other um, content for PvE that she is great is the Holy Dragon Grounds because of her barrel will so again uh, and also sh uh, usually for Holy Dragon Grounds you're bringing battery there. That is why you could also break Garden Stones um, for the Dragon. And also, I also found out recently that she's good in the Core Raid. Uh, if you've played the Core Raid, it's usually hard to break multiple Garden Stones with multiple colors. So, but as for Ulum, she can break random Garden Stones regardless of color. So you could bring her there and bring and and break garden stones of different colors so anyway that that's it for our playability now we'll proceed to recommended garden stones so for ulum's awakening so what i would uh, recommend for her is either you use at first a uh, frost set because of the additional block she gets as equipment set effects and when you awaken her, you get an additional bump for eight, for defense. Sorry, uh, of plus one seventy five, or if you have all six frost, you have plus seven hundred. So that's a big bump in her defense. But I would really suggest that you you set her up with a red garden garden stone set, which when used as uh, equipment set effects, you she will get a total damage reduction. And when once you awaken her, um, the fire set will give her additional HP. So that's if you have all six, that's a plus five thousand bump in HP. That's very very big for her survivability as well. So again, you have only two choices there. Uh, you either use um, you either use frost or you either use fire. So for synergy with other heroes. Um, if you can see here in my screen, um, you can see their Bathory, you can see their uh, Rera, and you have Lepin, and you have uh, Dorka. So, Do Ulum, um, uh, what do you call this? Ulum um, plays well with them. 
especially with battery because she needs battery to activate some of her skills um, also uh, Dorka is there to provide her with heals so that she could you know um, be be more tough and also uh, Lepid is there just so just in case um, Ulum dies she would she would be revived again to provide protection again for the team so anyway just to sum it up Ulum is good with glass cannon units because um, of of uh, the way she takes off damage from them especially if battery is there battery could prevent them from dying from from the last uh, uh, point of HP so and also uh, for she, she works well with heroes that gives her health and heroes that uh, revives her so as for synergy those are the 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 best heroes that you can that you can build with Ulum or around Ulum. so again as for as for Ulum's overall rating so the overall rating is rated at a highest of five and a lowest of one so we'll start with ulum stats so ulum stats is at a i would rate her at a four because um she is nearly perfect as a defender she has all the qualities of being tough and uh, being able to survive and um with just a little bit of a bump in terms of HP and more defense, she is really, really a a hard tank to kill. Next is her playability. Um, actually, my rating for her in playability and in her synergy um, ties ties back to to battery. Um, it's very unfortunate that once. You, you 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 separate Ulum and Battery, Ulum's uh, value drops significantly. So anyway, um, when when we say playability, when you play her in, in the different stages like PvP and PvE, um, she would really shine with Ulum there. So that is why I'm giving her a 3 out of 5 because she only shines with battery's presence but if you take out battery she she's a bit the regular tank she doesn't excel that much she doesn't um stand out really from from the crowd if you know what i mean and the next would be synergy so same again assessment um when you when you synergize her with other heroes her value kicks up when you have battery there um well battery is somehow kind of hard to get but if you have her try to really pair her um with ulum as much as possible in the content that you use ulum in especially in pvp tag and the other contents in pve so if you if you have um ulum in a regular form would you get her fc I would say yes if you have the opportunity. With the recently concluded uh, hero selection for Ulum's banner and uh, Garf's banner, um, some of you I think have her ready. But um, in if you have the chance again to get her in the future, please try to get her because she enhances survivability of of your original Ulum. And her FC um, is uh, is a, a little bit more tankier than her original one. So anyway, for my final thoughts, so for for Ulum, she is one of the best defenders that I've or tanks that I've ever used. She has carried me through a lot of content, and she's very good in destroying Guardian Stones. But um, her potential is limited if you don't have battery so you have to use battery when you have your ulum that's a must um, i've used um ulum before without battery and it really doesn't you know it doesn't he, she doesn't really play well um and she doesn't really give you that extra uh skills that you need and the uh, and she doesn't give you the destruction of random garden stones which is very important in today's um, gameplay, in today's meta. 
So, but she is a well-rounded enough defender that she can survive and defend your team. And uh, again, if you have her regular form, she is actually a a a a decent defender already. You don't have to look far and look for other defenders. Okay, guys. So that concludes my video. Um, um, just take note that these are just my opinions and uh, if you disagree with me or agree with me, let me know what you think in the comments below. You all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Pardon out.